Constable Oyster Company is one of the most high-profile businesses in North Kent, which has enjoyed huge growth over the last few years. But their success hasn't come without significant tension in the town, and it's been announced that a public inquiry is to be held into their controversial expansion. Yes, at its heart are the metal framework trestles that the oysters grow on in shallow water just off the beach. Last summer, they were told to remove thousands of them, and the inquiry will now decide whether planning laws have been breached or not. Our environment correspondent Yvette Austin reports. At low tide, they're clearly visible from the beach. Trestle tables where the Whitstable Oyster Fishery Company grows its stock of Pacific oysters. Over the years, business has boomed and the numbers of the metal racks have increased dramatically, raising concerns among many swimmers, sailors and surfers who share the sea. The racks are just underneath the water, so you can't really see them when, when there's enough water to actually go sailing. Um, they're already really marked out by some yellow buoys. If you fall onto them, if you're going at fairly high speed, that some of our windsurfers and sailors do, that can be quite nasty. So we want to avoid them as much as possible, but the area that we've got to sail in is being pushed smaller and smaller and smaller by the racks. Figures are disputed, but according to campaigners, in 2010, there were around 15 of the three-metre-long trestles. By April last year, the number had grown to around 2,400, and now there are more than 4,000. Canterbury Council considered the initial small number didn't need planning permission. As more arrived, though, it received complaints, and so it took another look and asked the company to apply for a certificate of lawful development. This was refused last year, and an order made for all the trestles to be removed. But the company appealed and has added more racks. They've just carried on putting more and more out, riding all over the entire area on quad bikes, putting out more and more racks, driving poles into the into the area, which is both a Ramsar uh, internationally protected site and also a site of special scientific interest. It's not only the possible threat to human life which concerns the local people here, it's the potential impact on native marine life too. A few miles along the coast at Hearn Bay, teams of conservationists regularly remove Pacific oysters that they say can now, as a result of our warmer waters, breed here in the wild. Like there's one just here. Yeah, and then we've got one down here as well. And yeah, once you spot one, then you begin to spot a whole bunch of them. The worry is that they're invasive. We're concerned that they're going to push out uh, native species, such as our blue mussel. Uh, whenever these type of oysters grow in very, very large groups, um, they're the really only thing that live there, whereas our blue mussels uh, create an oasis for our marine animals. The company says their oysters can't breed and they're vital to Whitstable's economy. The oyster company has got a long tradition of growing oysters and even though I agree the type of way we're growing them now is different, it's modern aquaculture, it's sustainable, it's something that provides employment and prosperity to the town and it's something that should be celebrated. It's become a much debated subject in the town. It's not good for people who want to, um, to, to use the sea, it's dangerous, if, if you don't know they're there. I just don't think they're doing a lot of harm, bring straight to them. Down here, don't it? You know, people come down here, watch things like that, don't we? I must admit he's being just a little bit naughty with putting them where he has done because of the sailing and the people who are now using the beach. The public inquiry into whether the trestles are lawful will begin in September. Oh, well, Yvette joins us live from Whistable now. And Yvette, uh, safety concerns seem to be one of, one of the key issues. Has there been any proper study into those? Well, the Marine Management Organisation commissioned an independent report a few years back which concluded that the racks were of low risk to navigation, but that was a few years back and there has been expansion since. I should also mention the issue about the oysters possibly being invasive. Well, what the company says is that these are special oysters. oysters. They're called triploid oysters. They have extra chromosomes and they can't breed. But Kent Wildlife Trust says that there have been rare occasions when the triploid oyster has bred. So, of course, there's an awful lot of detail that will be thrashed out at the public inquiry. Okay, Yvette, thank you.